Isaiah Belcher writes, Hey AMC, never miss a show. My question is about Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. They've both had great careers as actors, and Affleck is one of my favorite directors right now. But the thing that really launched them is Goodwill Hunting and the Oscar they won for Best Screenplay. What happened to their writing career? How come neither of them really tried a writing career or teamed up again to write and have Affleck direct or something like that? I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Mary? What do you think oh, you want this? me to start this yeah. one? All right. Well, Jamie and I were talking about this. There are a lot of rumors right. that have gone out around over the years about this script in particular mm -hmm. and whether or not or how much Ben and Matt had to do with the actual writing of the script. I'm not saying any of this is true, but there was rumors. I mean, Jamie knows. We, yeah, we were so talking William about this. Goldman for years has alluded, the great screenwriter mm -hmm. of Butch Cassidy's Sundance Kid yep. and All, America, uh, All the President's Men has alluded to the fact that he claims that he wrote Goodwill Hunting. Now, he's never said, I wrote Goodwill Hunting or Matt Damon and Affleck, but he said in uh, one of his books, or I read it somewhere, where um, he said, uh, you know, these two upstart actors from Boston came and gave me the script. You know, he never said it by name, but pretty much has alluded to the fact that he helped write it. And I've heard rumors through the years that actually the original script of Goodwill Hunting was an action film. <laughs> where so Will Hunt, the, the government finds out about Will Hunting's math abilities and are after him. And that script started to go around, and then they met with Mel Gibson, they met with Rob Reiner, they met with a lot of the directors, hot directors of that time, who maybe gave them some notes and helped them write it. So there's been lots of rumors over the years that they have or have not yeah. written it. That being beside the point, yeah. uh, to the question of why haven't they written you know, Matt wrote, um, co-wrote, uh, the fracking movie, um, Promised Land, oh, yeah, that's right. which he, he actually co-wrote with John Kroninsky and, rather than and Ben he Affleck. he was also in it. But Con <laughs> Gus Van Zant directed it. Yeah. So that was kind of like the follow-up to Goodwill Hunting, only sans Ben and put in John Kroninsky. Yeah. And then obviously Ben, while he hasn't written the movies he's directed, he's very involved in obviously yeah. directing. So I wouldn't go as far as to say, oh, these guys They're made hacks. a career. Yeah, yeah, they made his career as screenwriters and then became, they were always actors. And super they talented. They happened to be lucky and, and write a great script or whatever yeah. happened and won the Oscar for it. And then they went off with their careers and continued to act. And, you know, Matt's done producing. But you don't have their careers. He's doing directing. Yeah, you don't have their careers if you're not talented. No, absolutely so, you not. you know, maybe they, had some help with their script and whatever, but it, it, it enabled them to enter the fray and uh, and basically be who they are now. Oh, and absolutely. Have the they yeah, have now, absolutely. So. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I've heard those same rumors about William Goldman, but I do know, and maybe he's getting paid a lot of money to like be quiet or something like that. <laughs> but he writes the foreword to uh, if you if you see the screenplay, if you buy the oh, screenplay, yeah, he yeah. writes the foreword to it. And he says that he only help them a little bit or something yeah, like that. And that story has changed and embellished yes, over I'm the sure, years, I'm too. sure, I'm yeah. sure. But maybe he's getting a, a, a buttload of cash or something like he that. He seems like a bit of a bitter guy, William Goldman, from the stuff <laughs> I've read yeah, him and, say. And he's rumors are rumors. He's not a happy rumors. Hollywood guy. Yeah. Rumors yeah. are rumors. Yeah, but, exactly, exactly. But it, it's what you guys are saying. They were never, they never wanted to be screenwriters. No. What they want to do is be actors. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, especially nowadays, what they're doing is they're writing their own stuff so they can star in roles that will help them get I mean, look at another Lena, place. Lena Dunham is a perfect example. Exactly. Yeah. You know? And then um, John Favreau, he wrote Swingers. Favreau, yeah, Just absolutely. so he could get, then now he's more into directing now. Right. Um, Jason Siegel, uh, Judd Apatow told him to write a, a script, and so he wrote Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah. That launched, I mean, his, I mean, people knew him already, but he took the next level Let's step. not forget Vin Diesel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Vin Diesel Wait, has a career because he wrote and directed his own Film got into Sundance, yeah. Spielberg oh, yeah, saw it, right. and that's put him right. in Saving mm -hmm. Private Ryan. So, so yeah, there's it can a, help anyone. Yeah, there's a bunch of people. <laughs> another reason why, and that's if why. If Vin Diesel can do it, so can you. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.